Hey, hi, hello, and welcome. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's Ayana Michelle or Elevated Money here on YouTube. And I am back at it again with another video. In today's video, we are doing my budget for March. I know we are already in the middle of March. A lot's been going on, y'all. A lot's been going on, but I'm super excited and super ready to get into this video. I do want to make a small just little claimer announcement that I know if you watch my last video, I announced that I will be launching my website on this coming Friday. Today is Wednesday. Y'all, the website is taking me a little bit longer than I expected to complete. So I will be having to push it out. So if you subscribe to my mailing list, you will get the tea on when it drops on Sunday, what time you can start shopping. And um, for everybody else, the website will be open on Monday. So just a couple of days pushback. I really want to be able to use the rest of this week and Saturday to finish getting everything out. I think I might film just a whole new released video of course i have sneak peeked some of them and i'm about to show you two new releases right now so i haven't fully decided on it but i have a bunch that i have not yet shown you that i want to release so let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see a whole dedicated video to new releases for my shop but before we get into this video i am going to show you guys Ew, look at my desk you can see all my little fingerprints ridiculous but i am going to get into um these two new releases so these are the budget kits for april y'all i am super duper excited i love 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 how these kits came out i know in my last video i said that i was going to do a one kit but actually i think i'm gonna do a mini and a big kit so the mini kit is going to come with just the generic things and then the um big kit is going to come with all the extra add-ons so that you don't have to buy them all separately they just come in the kit as a whole like they are right now so we have two different colorways for april so i guess we'll get actually we'll get into this one first they all have the same things in them so if you get the full kit everything you see right here will come in your kit you'll get all of these pages in the full kit if you get the mini kit um I'll let you know what that comes with so if you're getting the mini kit this would be an add-on but this is the budget i mean the monthly sheet these are all for aaron condren size planners um i'm working to make these for happy planners too but i only have an aaron condren um <laughs> so i have to buy one and figure out the sizing so that's why they're only for the aaron condren right now but this is that they're super duper cute this is the monthly sheet so this would be an add-on if you get the mini if you get the mini this page will automatically come in the kit this page will come in the kit you get two of these washi sheets if you get the mini this will be an add-on so these are your buildy stickers let's see if you guys can see them in this pretty purple way and i did do something different with this kit i added a different color for the bottom washi typically they're kind of like this one where they're the same but I did change it up and add a different one. So you guys gotta let me know in the comments what you think. I also added that yellow. These are your date dot covers right here. This will be an add on if you get the mini. This transaction log right here will be an add on if you get the mini. Maybe what I'll do, so y'all don't have to see me struggle. I'll zoom in. <laughs> And just set it down this business um, expense page that would be an add-on if you get the mini so we got that one we have this envelope stuffing and we're about to get in right after this we're going to show you how all these stickers work um, so this envelope stuffing would be an add-on if you get the mini this paycheck five would be an add-on if you get the mini and this bonus paycheck will be an add-on if you get the mini. If you get the full kit, you'll get all of these stickers. So everything you're looking at right now, you'll get all of them if you get the full kit. You have these pages right here. So these are if you do weekly or bi-weekly check-ins. These are just appointment labels technically, but they come in all of the colors. If you get the full kit, you'll get all four. If you don't get the full kit, these will be add-on options for you. If you um, get the mini, this budget page will come in the kit automatically. Because how are you going to do your budget? 
the monthly closeout will come in the kit automatically. You can get the option for a bi-weekly or a weekly check-in. So you get to choose which one you want. Whichever one you pick, that's the one that will come in your kit for the mini or the full. And then you get all four of the paychecks automatically in the kit. So one through four will come automatically in the mini kit. So those are the options if well if you're bi-weekly um if you get the bi-weekly kit you only get two um pitch up one through two one and two but if you are get the weekly kit you'll get all four and then anything after that will be add-ons and then if say for instance it's a week where you get paid three times, but you're bi-weekly. I'm gonna try to remember that, <laughs> but we'll see. But initially, you if you're bi-weekly, you'll get just two of them. And if you're weekly, you'll get all four. Um, so yeah, that is the kit. I'm super duper excited. This was April's kit. And then I'm going to put that back in there. And then this is the other colorway for April. So everything else remaining the same. Um, I can just quickly bruise past this for you guys. So you don't have to sit there through all of it. But everything is pretty much the same. You just get this really pretty pattern. I did butterflies. And everything will be in this color instead. So I kept this one more aligned with what I did in my other kits. This is just like a lighter shade of the main color and of course you have all of your add-ons and is or your um full kit option so i'm super duper excited about these two but i'm gonna zoom you guys on back out and we're about to get into my budget for the month of um march <laughs> i was about to say october don't ask me why i was finna say october but i was finna say october y'all so in my last video, I did show you guys a kit. I think I have extra washi sheets in my kit because I couldn't remember how many I needed. So I printed out a lot. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So we're going to go ahead and find March. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that March was like, I should have realized that, but I did not. This was a green color in my kit. I mean, in my, um, what is this called? My planner. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and set up all of my stickers. I, I'm i trying to decide if I want to let y'all watch me. I think I will, because why not? Wait, this might be a little bit of the longer side video. I probably will speed past me um, laying down like date dots and things of that nature. But I want to be able to show you guys the kit and everything that it has to offer for you guys. So I'm going to start with laying down my, um, what is this called? The monthly view. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. I don't have any whiteout. Dang it. I meant to buy some whiteout and I freaking forgot. Will this cover it? Oh, dang it. I forgot to buy some whiteout. Oh, well. So it doesn't, of course, cover all of that up there. I wonder if I should extend it to go all the way to the top. Hmm. You guys let me know if you think that this should be extended to go all the way up to the top. But we'll go ahead and put those down. So I like how they are fitting right here. Oops. So if you, if you guys do feel like it should go all the way up to the top in um, what months after April, May and June and on, we'll have that adjustment. So I'm going to go ahead and just put all these little stickers down. Have you guys done your budget for the month yet? Or are you behind like me? <laughs> the only reason why I'm behind for real for real though is because I was trying to get all these new releases out. And we just was running out of time, y'all. We just, time was not on our side. I do work a full-time job also. So, oh, I just realized y'all could not see me laying that little sticker down at the bottom. My bad, y'all. I'm over here talking to y'all. But um, time was not on my side this month. I'm just 
I'm just trying to make it through. We in the middle of month end close at my job. <laughs> so everything is just crazy. It's hectic. Oh. Oh dang it. I just realized that. I'm gonna have to change this for you guys. I meant I put one, two, and three and four, but I meant to put one and two and 27 and 28. <laughs> my bad. I just realized that. I made an oopsie there, so I'll fix that um, before these release on Friday. I mean, on what day is it? Monday, whatever day it is. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> the most tedious part about this is putting down the date dots, y'all. It takes sometimes. It takes me so long, like especially if I don't have. Um, can y'all see? Because I get to putting things down and forget y'all can't see nothing. Um, sometimes, um, it's, it, well, what was I saying? If I, especially with these nails, um, it'd be hard. So that's why I invested in some tweezers. If you guys, if anybody on here loves to have long nails, but be struggling, y'all, get you some tweezers when you lay down your stickers. Especially like these smaller little stickers because, listen, uh-oh, why is nine not coming out? Oh, there we go um get you some tweezers like tweezers will be your best y'all my um <laughs> that is hilarious my studio light just fell so brb while well, i try to get that to stop falling and it won't listen okay sorry if the lighting looks a bit off or weird now <laughs> my studio light fell I feel like it's dark. I really don't want to mess with it again because I feel like the my freaking um, soft boxes keep falling. Like I don't know why. I've never really had this issue. Normally they just stand up, but I've also never had them up for this long. Like they've been up for like the past couple of days because I've just been too lazy to take them down. Especially since like I'll be in the middle of filming and then I'll need them again. So it's just pulling them up and down gets real 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 ghetto real quick so i just be leaving them up but um they've been falling over and i don't know why like don't nobody even be touching them they just be like bye i'm tired i want a nap you've had me standing for on my feet for the last 38 hours and this is real ghetto like i feel like that's how my um studio lights be treating me and I get it because I wouldn't want to stand on my feet for as long as they've been on their feet. But you're an inanimate object. So relax. <laughs> it's not that serious. But um, yeah, so I just got to put all these date dots down. I think the um, I've, um, I don't know if you guys peep, but I did change my logo on the april kits i made it a little bit darker because the may uh march kits you couldn't really see them so i be i be tweaking things y'all i be trying to i be trying to fix them before um this is like my first month or two i guess doing it so i'm pretty sure there'll be a bunch of things that i end up wanting to upgrade and change within my kits i'm super excited though but I'm curious, what are you guys is? You know what? I just remember I forgot to do. I forgot to make a monthly overview sticker kit. I'm going to have to make one. Since I already have my April and my um, March kits done, I'll make it for May. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second. <laughs> um... I forgot to make one, but I actually really like having that page. So I'm just going to finish putting down all these stickers, y'all. The other day, um, Rita's opened up and I've been dying to go get some, but it's been like kind of chilly. So my mind is like, I should not go to Rita's right now because it's not warm enough yet. But they're open. So my heart is saying YOLO. Like go get it. But then also it's kind of like out the way. So I really have to go out of the way to go get it. <laughs> and that's why I haven't got it yet. Like I also want to be able to get it where I can sit 
and like really enjoy it i don't want to have to be driving and like i can't like really enjoy my readers you know what i'm saying like sit and just munch or i guess it's not really munch i normally just get italian ice if you guys go to rita's what is your favorite um treat from rita's i'm like really curious to know but there you go so that is the full um monthly view I'm gonna zoom, oh, I zoomed you guys in my bad that is the full monthly view so you get to see the march at the top you get to see this at the bottom dang it I forgot to film my reel <gasps> did I take pictures of this kit oh man I don't even know and I'm gonna write with this blue pen I got these pens from five and below but they're super duper cute so on these pages I'm gonna write what um i want to track with them so on this one i'm going to track groceries oh you can't really see that with this blue pen um uh let me get a black one real quick so i can write that here groceries is what's going to get tracked on this one and i like to put this over here in my notes so that way when i'm doing my weekly check-in i can just see but i also write it down here so that way i know and i don't always have to come into my book to see what i'm tracking so then we're just going to do gas i meant to write that in the blue pen but i had the, the black pen in my hand so it is yolo whatever who cares at this point gas and then we're going to do spending And we're going to write that there. So this is just how I do my budget and how I've been doing my weekly check-ins. And so far, it's so good for me. I enjoy doing it this way. I've already actually spent, but I haven't set this up yet. So I haven't been able to toilet trees really track. So toilet tries. Am I the only one that pronounces things like that? Probably. I pronounce it how it's spelled all right perfect so now we have our little legend we have everything here and we're good to go when we flip over this is the page that i was telling you guys i forgot to make stickers for um so in my may and moving forward i will have um a set of sticker sheets for that page i forgot about it i'm not gonna lie <laughs> I was just trying to get the kits out for you guys and I forgot about it so on this page here I am going to be setting up my business expenses and I like to track as you guys know I have a little business here and I like to track what my business expenses are so I'm just gonna take this washi kit and let me see if I can zoom you guys in a little bit more so you guys can fully see and these should go all the way to the top i think okay hold on i don't know how i measured this i do but i don't at the same time dang it am i about to put the sticker down crooked i can feel it it's about to be crooked ain't it oh no who look at me look at me first time so this is the business expenses uh she it just comes with like the date the amount the company and pretty much the description of what it is that you bought and then you can total all your business expenses by for the end of the month i like to have this because when i filed my taxes i was not writing this stuff down somewhere and of course you can put it like in an um, excel spreadsheet but i like to have it kind of where my all my expenses are even though they're not a part of my you know work expenses or you know bills and things of that nature i like to be able to see it so that's why i keep it on this page and not in my other you know with my other stuff so i'm gonna set up all of these stickers so that's pretty much how that works and then you can have that and then i'm just gonna move these off to the side before i drop them drop this totals bottom all the way at the bottom i don't know how many expenses i'm going to have for the month so i just want to go ahead and make sure that i leave myself enough space 
to make sure I don't typically incur that many business expenses, y'all. But make sure I have enough space and you have that pretty much like that. So I've already seen something that I can do and make this um, box down there a little bit bigger. So I'm really excited about that. But that's what this page looks like. And you can go ahead and write in the date, the amount, the company, and just a brief little description of what it is that you bought. So moving on, like I said, I forgot to do this page. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next one. And on this next page, this is where I set up my monthly budget for the month. So you're going to get this sheet here and of course a washi sheet. So I'm going to just Y'all, I'm so sorry if I'm not talking well, laying these stickers down. Y'all, I gotta concentrate because if I don't, these stickers will be down crooked. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> they will be down all types of crooked. So I'm just gonna put down my March budget. And so this is where I can see my budget in full, every bill that I have to pay. Now, I do keep my bills um a month ahead so i technically already paid for majority of my march bills i pay them most of them on the first um some of them cannot get paid until closer to their due date or i just prefer to pay them closer to their due date because they're due at like at the end of the month so those ones they just sit in account until closer to their due date or on their due date and i go ahead and i pay those ones um so everything that you see me budgeting for in my bi in my weekly pay or my biweekly paychecks, that is to go towards April. And when you see me fill this out in a few seconds, that will be going towards March because I like to still see what I spent in March. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to put full time here. And then I'm going to put, I'm just going to put side income. I don't know if I'll get any side income this month. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I think I might have some Etsy, but I'm actually putting all my Etsy stuff back into the business minus taxes. So I won't even have like a full video or nothing on that. So... There's that, but I'll have that. And of course you can add these little lines if you want to, if you want to. And I break mines up by bills and expenses. Like I group them all together. I do know some um, budgeters do like fixed and variable. If that's something that you guys would like to have, please let me know and I can make that happen um, moving forward. Um, but I kind of set it up the way I use it for now um because i wasn't sure what other people would like <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get into my bills so hopefully i remember them all i normally have a cheat sheet well i have them over here so we'll just we'll use this as a cheat sheet so we have rent sprint we have insurance we have um, car note. I meant to be writing this with my cute little blue pen. Oh, I'm so upset. Car note, Xfinity. We have BG and E, Baltimore Gas and Electric. Um, dang, this black pen not not doing what he did. My dad's uh, cable bill. Hello. This black pen is not doing what it needs to do. Dad's bill. Ew, now these are two different because that was like an ink and this is just like a regular. It's okay. <laughs> Credit. I'm trying to write crooked because I normally write with the page crooked. So I'm turning my hand all crooked. So if you're wondering what, if it looks weird, that's why. All state. We have Apple. Editing. Disney Plus. 
I need to check and see if there's a new Proud family. Netflix. Shopify. Well, mail. Shopify. And HP Inc. Those are my monthly bills. And I had a little ruler thingy. I do still have it. Oh, let me actually lay these other stickers down first. So these are all the bills that I have for the month. And um, you're going to see these pretty much repeat over because I just split all these bills in half. And that's what I save each week. Um, not each week, but every, you know, two weeks for my, how do I do this? Oh, you know what? I know what's going on. Um, do I want to skip a spot? No, we'll put it right here. I cannot lay the sticker down to save my life right now. I think that's a little crooked, but it'll be all right. And then I just put the total so you have what I budgeted and then what my actual was. So we're just going to write income and then we're going to write um, expenses. And that's what's going to go there for the month. So then moving on, I like to do my weekly I mean I keep saying weekly y'all I do not get paid weekly I guess I really wish I got paid weekly because I keep saying weekly we're gonna move on to setting up my uh two paychecks they're pretty much the same layout so I will go ahead and speed past this part for y'all so y'all don't have to be bored with me trying to ramble on um so as soon as I finish laying down both of these will be right back So I went ahead and I'm about to zoom out a little bit. Hopefully my camera does not cut off because it did in the middle of me doing this. Um, so I went ahead and did the layout for paycheck one and paycheck two. So pretty much. All right, my bad, y'all. My uh, SIM card was full, so I had to go ahead and switch that out. <laughs> Uh, so I've switched to another one. So hopefully we are good to go and we can get through the rest of this video. I'm trying to be kind of detailed. So that's why it is taking quite a bit. But I really want to be able to show you guys what these sticker kits is hitting for. So I'm about to just... Oh, why ain't nobody tell me that pen don't work? Y'all just let me go ahead and write with the pen that don't work. Wow. I should be using my blue pen, but it's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I think I can 
draw this line all the way down as well. And then we're going to have to do this one by itself. And this one by itself. So I don't think I really want to bore y'all with me doing this paycheck wise. So we'll do the monthly um, one <laughs> together. So moving in, oh, I keep zooming y'all out. I'm going to get this together eventually y'all. So moving into what's expected, I'm going to go um, based off of what I budgeted for last month. So if I go um back i have my budget amount and everything i don't have to do that okay so rent is going to be due for one and i do have like all the stuff to tell me but i'm about to log into my account right now because we've already actually have most some not all of our actuals but some of our actuals because mind you Oh, fiddle. I meant to put three one because these are going to track the bills that I actually paid this month. I know it's a little bit confusing, y'all, but it helps me. So <laughs> we're going to have to get it shipped that way. Okay, so I can see everything that got paid this month. So I typically budget the same amount. So $17.55 is what. I budget for my bills. My actual rent for the month of um, March came out to be $17.80.19 and that is a water bill and all that other stuff that was added to it to contribute to that. My Sprint bill, um, shucks, when was that Sprint bill due? It was due on the 3rd. I pay all my bills on the first, so that's why I don't know. <laughs> and we budgeted two forty-five for that bill, and it came in at two thirty eighty-three. Insurance was due. Uh, I know when that was due. That was due on the fourth, and we budget three oh six. Insurance came in at three oh five. 16 for the month of March. My car note is due 315. I know that one. This we budget um 354 and I have not yet paid that one, so I do not have the actual for that one. Xfinity is due, I think what did we budget for that? What is it due? 39 and we budgeted, once at 120? Oh, hold on, that's the paycheck was. Who we budget for the month? Yep, we budgeted 120 for the month. And Xfinity came in at 113.81 for the month. My dad's phone bill um, was due 3.24. We budgeted $70 and we sent him $70. Um, oh, fiddle. <laughs> that was B, G, and E. I do not have any white. Oh, let me go see if I can find some white out real quick. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. I found some white out, so I put that in the wrong spot. So, B, G, and E, we budgeted for 120, and B, G, and E came in at $100.10. Oh, uh, this would have been due, I think it's the 10th, or is it the 12th? That doesn't tell me. Uh, the 12th. Alrighty. So then, my dad's bill, which would have been 324 that was $70. We spent $70. All right. Credit repair, which would have been 328 
Um, oh, wait. Hey. <laughs> no, yeah, I have not paid that for the month. I'm tripping. Uh, we're budgeting $51, and I have not yet paid that for the month. Allstate was due on the 1st. We budget $12 for that every month. Or $13, my apologies. It's a good thing I went and got this white out. I'm glad I had to go to the store for the white out though. And the bill came in at $12.89 for the month. So Apple, we have two Apple bills. And it looks like both of them, no, just one, only one of them have paid. So I'm not going to put this total yet. I do not put anything here. We budget $14 for the month. Um, I have my Apple storage, like extra storage bill that comes out on the 1st. And then I have my Apple Music that comes out on the 14th. So when both of those bills get charged, then I will put the difference between the two there. My editing software um this will be due 323 and this we're budgeting 23 dollars it has not come out yet this is an automatic payment so when that comes out we'll add that charge there this was 31 for disney plus and we budget nine dollars for it the actual was eight dollars and 47 cent next is netflix that is due 310 we budget $20 and that has not came out yet. The next is my mailing service for my apartment. We budget, um, how much do we budget in it? I mean, what, what's the um, due date? I think it's the 7th. We budget $6 for that. That has not come out yet. And Shopify, I think this bill is due on the freaking like 15th of the month or something like that. Something like that. I don't even know what this bill is due. I'm going to just leave it like that. But we budget $30. Um, I think I have to start budgeting $31 for that because they've added taxes. And then HP Inc. is due, I don't even know either. And we budget $6 for that. And that has also not yet come out. So we're now going to just total up. Um, can y'all see? Let me zoom out just a little bit. That's it. I got to get it together. Get it together. So we can see what our monthly number comes up to. Oh, I thought I was on the calendar. I mean, on the um, calculator. So we have 1755 plus 245 plus 120 plus 70 plus 51 plus 13 uh, plus 14 plus 23 plus 9 26 36 so our bills for the month total up to $3,142 and once I get all the actuals I will go ahead and see what the differences is I don't typically um do an um my, my full-time income is pretty much an actual that always comes in at the same amount. Um, well, it's a little bit different now, and that's why I have not written it. Um, trying to still figure that all out. So once I get all that together, <laughs> y'all will have that together. But until then, we working on it, y'all. So then moving on, I'm only going to do one of my paychecks because we have other pages to fill for the month. But essentially, it's the same type of process. Um, hello? Let me, um, can I get you straight so that way I can make a straight line? Thank you. But essentially, y'all, it's legit the same type of process, except what I do is the full amount I divide in half and that's what my budgeted amounts are. Um, oops, I did not mean to draw through that sticker. Did my camera just cut off again? Oh no! <laughs> I thought I heard it. I thought I heard it click, y'all. I thought I heard it click. Um, okay, so pretty much it's the same thing. So I do have like my due date section, the budget section, and that is 
very very crooked okay but it is what it is <laughs> it is what it is so pretty much i would take half of whatever i budgeted so even though i know it's weird but um i'm gonna use my budgeted amounts for last month to base what i'm going to um budget for the next month pretty much so this is what i budgeted for last month and we're seeing what the actuals came in at now depending on some of them i will make adjustments so for example right here i budgeted 17.55 last month for my rent but it actually came in at 17.80 so clearly i was what 30 i mean 25 dollars well sorry 15 dollars and some change over right so i may accumulate for that this month and so instead of budgeting 17.55 um and splitting that per paycheck i'm going to budget 17.80 and divide that per paycheck so if i go to my calculator 17.80 divided by two is 8.90 oops i didn't bet my page up um i'm gonna save y'all me filling all that other stuff out so 890 so i will put 890 here and most of my actual stay the same because this is what you see me fill um with prop money and my pay weekly my bi-weekly cash stuffings so these numbers typically stay the same you won't see the variances until i do the next month so like right here now you're seeing the variances for last month and that's just how it works for me to be able to understand it my budget better um but that's pretty much what i do most of the other stuff pretty much stays the same i budget the same for everything else even if it's over or under um i like to do it that way um so that's just what works for me so this sprint bill is going to be 123 insurance one 53 I think yeah 153 is what that's going to get my car note 177 Xfinity I'm going to go ahead and leave it at the $60 my BG and E bill I'm going to leave at that $60 even though it's been coming in a little bit under um I just moved into this apartment not too long ago, so I'm still kind of getting a feel for my bills, um, for at least um, my electric bill, whatever. So for now, I'm going to keep it that way. My dad's bill is the same, $35 every two weeks. This is $25 every two weeks. Allstate, this is $6. Apple, I believe this is $8. Editing is $11. Um, Netflix is 10 mail is going to be three Shopify is $15 um, oh wait hold on oh I skipped Disney Plus I'm like why is everything off my bad y'all so Disney Plus is going to be uh, what does Disney Plus get it can get either four or five. The bill is nine dollars, so we're going to go ahead and put. Uh, we'll do four for this month. I mean, for this paycheck, and we'll do five the next one. Doesn't really matter. Um, Netflix is going to get ten. Mail is going to get three. Shopify is going to get fifteen, and then my HP Inc is going to get three dollars. So then I would add all of those up. So eight ninety. Plus 12, 23, 153, 177, 60, 60, 35, 25, $6, $8, $11, $4, $10, $3, $15, and 3. So on a bi weekly basis, I'm saving for my first paycheck of March, 15 83 to go towards my april's bills and like i said when i do my weekly check-ins i do come in and put these um not my weekly check-ins but one of these videos that i'll be doing y'all i don't even know 
I do come in and put my actuals. So then what, what I would do after that is um, I would take whatever my full-time income is, subtract it from my bills. I do like to keep a, some money into my buffer. So I would decide how much I want to keep into my buffer account. Of what's left over out of that, I will divide it up between my cash envelopes and my sinking funds. My cash envelopes typically get the same amount. So I'm just gonna put, I don't even know what I want to put there. <laughs> I don't even know what to put there, but and they typically get the same amount. So I normally budget 75 for groceries. I'm actually going to up it a little bit because gas has been going up. So I'm gonna do uh, 45 for gas. We're gonna do $20 for spending and $10 for um, toiletries. So we're gonna put this amount to 150 for this um, bi-weekly payment. <laughs> And then I'll decide once I figure out my income and all that other jazz, how much of that's going to go into my sinking funds. And that's pretty much how it works from that standpoint. And I would do the exact same thing for week two, for paycheck two. They would it would look legit the same. My bills are pretty much identical, give or take a couple of dollars, one or two dollars here or there. My paychecks are split up the same. So I will save you guys having to sit through that. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and go to our next page. So the next page that we're going to set up is going to be the um, monthly, I don't, I don't, I mean, by week, I mean, weekly check-in. I don't think I'll have a, um, um, a bonus paycheck this month if I was expecting one. I would probably set it up on this page but I really don't think I'd have one so my mind is trying to tell me if I should put it there just in case but my issue is I hate I don't know you know what I want to divide it into so maybe I'll just skip this page just in case because I don't know so we'll skip that page just in case and we'll put our weekly page I mean our weekly check-in over here so if you were to do it weekly, you would set it up like this. Now, I mean, I mean, I like checking in weekly, but sometimes I feel like because I'm bi-weekly, um, it might be a little bit unnecessary. Oh, I just crumpled that sticker, but it is, it is what it is. But I kind of just like to see how much I'm just kind of see how much I'm spending on a weekly basis um, and see just kind of see what it's averaging out to so that's why i'm choosing to do a weekly check-in even though i get paid bi-weekly so i only stuff my envelopes weekly so when you see it you'll have i have it split out between paychecks of course you know i do not get paid weekly but i did that for the people who are doing this that do get paid <laughs> weekly they might you know benefit from having paycheck one Oh, y'all can't see. Uh, not my battery about to die. Hold on, y'all. Let me change the battery. <laughs> All right, guys. So I've changed my battery. So we should be back in action now. <laughs> so I was saying that I like to, I set it up as, you know, this so that way people can see their stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put groceries. Oh dang, I spelled that all wrong. I don't care. I'm gonna put gas. I'm gonna put spending. I'm going to put um, toiletries. Right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the next week. Lay that down. Get that here. I'm really mad at school. Those shoes are on. So one, two, three, four. And it needs to go here. Dang, I forgot now. One, two, three, four. It needs to go here. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> One, two, three, four. 
And these they go here. And I'm going to go ahead. Okay. So before I lay down this fifth one, I want to make sure that I need all five. So I'm going to go pretty much to my last check-in. So I checked in from, you guys cannot see, but the last day that I checked in was from the 25th of February, right? So the 25th of February would have been this Friday. You can't see it, but the Friday before the 4th. <laughs> so... I will be checking in from whatever this Saturday was to the 4th. So, well, it would have been the 20, uh, the 26th through the 4th of March. How many weeks are we checking at? So, this will be the... So, this will be... Uh, let me not write with that pen and be upset again. Um... What is this? 0226 to 0304. I like to write down what those pay these check-ins are representing. So then it will be from the 5th to the 11th. From the 5th of March to the 11th of March. So 0305. Oops. 03. 11 and I'll just write these groceries gas spending and toiletries all right then it would be from the 12th to the 18th and I like to do them on Fridays because I typically get paid on a Friday um, so I would typically be filling my envelopes on Friday or maybe that Saturday, but typically Fridays. So from the 12th to the 18th. So it would be 0312 to 0318. One second. Alright, so then I would go ahead and write this. Groceries, gas, spending toiletries now the reason why this video is so long because I want to be able to show you all the stickers moving forward I'll probably just lay all the stickers um, unless y'all want to see me lay all the stickers but moving forward I'll probably do that to spare y'all but I really want y'all to see how these stickers work in the planner so then we go from the 18th to the 25th yep so 19 through the 25th so I will need all five so we do 0319 through 0325. Groceries, gas, spending, toilet tries. Okay. And then I will add this last one here. And then this will finish up the month of March. So putting this here. And then this will go from the 25th, I mean 26th of March, oh, y'all can't see. The 26th of March to the 20, I mean to the 31st of March, and that will get our full March. Now, me, I only get paid bi-weekly, so I'll get paid on the 11th, and I'll get paid on the 25th, but, yeah. So this will go from the 26th to the 31st of March. So, 0, 3... Two six two zero three uh three one groceries gas spending and toiletries and just because I have pages that have extra little washi strips at the bottom I'm just gonna go ahead and put one right here because I know I have I don't need it, <laughs> pretty much. Oops. So I'll go ahead and put that there. And now we'll be able to check it out. So that is how the weekly spread is set up. If you were to do it bi-weekly, you would not have all of these uh, 
pages <laughs> you will legit only have just the few that you needed so now moving on this is something that i haven't really seen anybody like incorporate in their like budget kits but i found that it's something that i like to utilize and see it helps me out quite a bit so i figured that it might be you know beneficial for others um and this is what it is so i'm gonna go ahead and set this up on this page i set that sticker down all crooked and Am I about to pull it up? I feel like it might rip. Let's be gentle. We got this. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is removable matte sticker paper. So. But now it's all crumpled. I hate when the sticker does that. No! Oh, dang. I messed the design up a little bit. I feel like now it's going to go down even worse than before. Ugh. Because I don't know how to lay stickers down to save my life. I'm mad I made it through the whole video not messing up. Last couple of sheets. Now one. Now one not know how to lay a sticker. Huh? How'd that work? Here we go. We got it. <laughs> so the next uh, sheet that I'm going to do is this envelope stuffing sheet i never see this i personally like to see what i'm putting in my envelopes when i do my budget um and it also helps me to know like when i do the breakdown bi-weekly it helps me to know what's going in these two sections my cash well i know what's going in my cash envelopes because they're consistent but sometimes my sinking funds might change or i might put more in one envelope than the other envelope or you know something like that who knows it just depends on what's going on what my budget's looking like and what i feel is the priority for that particular paycheck or you know that month whatever i'm focusing on so i went ahead and created this um and it does go based off of the weekly paychecks um because i felt like it would just been annoying for people to have to have a separate one for bi-weekly and weekly now if you guys don't want to see all um five paychecks in your budget and you're paid bi-weekly you only want to be able to see the two then i can make that an option so if you pick a bi uh, bi-weekly kit then i'll make sure to only include uh two <laughs> But I figured that for now, while I see if you guys even like this idea, <laughs> I do it like this. So I'm going to zoom in and what I'm trying to find real quickly and I'm searching and not seeing, I think I found them, are my envelopes. So I'm grabbing my envelopes really quickly only because I never remember all the names of my envelopes. <laughs> when you have too many, it gets toxic okay that's all i gotta say so out off to the side i just have my envelope so i can flip through and write the names of them so we're going to write down that's not the pen that i can use and actually i'm going to draw my line first because actually no i'm not no I'm not okay we just going to try to write like a civilized person all right so we have taxes savings Dad, home, health, car, Canva, debt, babe, Christmas, Um, we have my personal one, so I'm going to just put Ayana, and then we have stickers, and I know I'm adding a new envelope, I have not had it made yet, but I know I'm adding one, and it's just going to be Airbnb, because I know I'm adding that new envelope, we'll get more into that later, but I know I'm adding it, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it here so then what I'm going to do is draw my lines and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and add a couple of spaces I don't think I'm adding 
that many new envelopes but uh we'll see i want to give myself room because i'll always add one and then don't got no space moving on to the next paychecks so now i'm gonna put this down here like that and now we're just going to go ahead and section these ones off And I should have did them so they fit in there without no problems. I can't draw on a straight line, but that's a personal issue. Okay. So now, every time I get paid, oh, I could have moved that one over a little bit. Now, every time when I'm budgeting what's going to go in my envelopes, I can just come to this one sheet right here already in my budget and i'll be like okay well i want to add five dollars um to taxes so i already know how much the total is because i subtracted it from my income from my bills i subtracted out my cash envelopes i subtracted out what i want to leave in my account and whatever is left after that is what goes into my sinking funds so i'm like all right well i'm gonna figure out from that point okay i typically do it based off of what's in my sinking funds i'm gonna show you all an example um so this is a random one it's home right so there's 50 70 75 26 77 dollars left in here because i spent some money so say i don't spend any money by the time i'm ready to stuff again i'll be like oh well maybe i want to maybe i want to round this up so i may add three dollars so that way i now have eighty dollars in here you know what i'm saying so it just kind of depends on what my budget's looking like for that week and or that paycheck I should say and what my envelopes are looking like so that's pretty much how that page works so I hope you guys are ooh, I'm messing things up all over the board right now I hope you guys like that little tidbit that I added like I said I don't really see any other budgeters um have a separate page like that i know they of course do it but i like to see mine like this and then i can see them all next to each other it just makes my heart happy <laughs> so the next i have a couple more pages i have a page right here a page right here and one more back here so um what i'm going to do next is initially i was not doing the transaction log to like tra track my um weekly spending i would just wait till i came home um and just see how much i spent and i think i'm still going to do it like that so we're gucci i don't have any bonus paychecks or anything that i need to you know stuff for i printed out way too many sheets wow <laughs> I printed out way too many extra sheets. So I'm going to go ahead and take this page now. And now the good thing about it is I do. So say I do get another like bonus paycheck that and more than just the one space that I left. I still have pages in the back of my planner. I mean in the back here that I can use. So we're going to do the monthly closeout sheet now. This is the last sheet in our kit. <laughs> the last we've, we've made it pretty much to the end y'all. <laughs> So I'm really happy about that, y'all, because I'm tired. And I know y'all tired of hearing me talk. This was a long video. But I also like to have a monthly closeout sheet. I like my stickers. I like my planners to look cute. So I made sure to incorporate. If you watch my very last video, I just wrote, ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong. I'm going to say it that way. Ain't nothing wrong with writing um, out, like, just pen and paper. Just get into the pen and paper. At the end of the day, you just want to keep track of what's going on but i like for my stuff to look, um adorable so i bought some stickers and pretty much what i'm gonna do is use my closeout from last month whatever my ending balances were that's what my starting balances are going to be for the month and as you can see i've already oh no okay i um i spent that before doing the closeout so let's see. I'm going to take this picture real quick so I don't have to flip back and forth and y'all be like, girl, cut it out. So I'm going to write down again what all of my categories are. We have taxes. We have savings. Actually, I'll just write it as we go. So taxes ended last month. So it's starting this month. 
with $40. Savings ended last month and started this month with $501. I mean we have Dad. He is going to start this month with $100. Home is going to start this month with $77. Um, health is going to start this month with $115. Let's see, car is going to start this month with $200. Canva is going to start with $33. Debt, I'm going to write it here, but debt ended the month with nothing. It's going to start the month with nothing. Babe, can y'all see? Yay. Oh, I could probably zoom in a little bit more. There you go. My bad, y'all. <laughs> Babe is going to start this month with $57. Uh, Christmas is going to start with $200. Um, my envelope, which is about to go down this weekend because I booked me an impulsive lash appointment. Let's not talk about it. But it's starting with $310 <laughs> right now. And stickers... Um, is starting the month with $111. And that's all I have. But like I said, I know for a fact that I'm adding at least another one, which is Air B and B. So it's starting the month with zero because I haven't added it yet. I just know right now that I'm going to add it. But if you don't know, that's why I like to keep, um, leave a little bit of space just in case you add some more envelopes throughout the month and so that's what I'm going to do just skip a couple lines and put my balance sticker down here so I don't have to try to peel this up at the end of the month because I added more um, I added more now we've already done the math for this if you watched the last video but you add all of those up and this will total you to or me I guess one thousand seven hundred and forty four dollars is that we're bringing in to the month of March and we'll be able to see at the end of March what we end off March with so that is everything y'all we use all the stickers the only thing that I have left to do is fill out my bill due stickers and um place them in my little section here but I will do this in my weekly check-in I will not bore you guys with that today but we have used I think pretty much all the stickers the only ones that I did not personally use was this transaction log um this bonus paycheck and I think paycheck five <laughs> I don't even know where paycheck five is right now but wherever paycheck five is we did not use that so we pretty much used everything y'all that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it sorry that it was a bit on the longer side but i did want to make sure i showed you guys the sticker kits and how they work if anybody was interested in getting their hands on some like i said they will be available for anybody who signs up for the mailing list on um saturday i mean on sunday and then on monday for anybody else just regular open the shop will be just open at that particular point so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i hope you subscribe we are on the way to 5k so um thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye loves